Hi everyone, this is Mitch. Um, this weekend I was working on my Snapshot, my documentation tool, and I was searching for something or other, I can't remember what it was, and I found the sample repository on Microsoft's GitHub repo. Now this is fascinating because there are just tons and tons of things out here, so I thought I would just uh, give you a quick tour. So if you go out, to get, go out to github.com slash microsoft slash dynamics dash apps dots or dash samples, so dynamics 365 dash apps dash samples, you'll find this root folder here. So there's a few subfolders and then kind of an introduction of, of what's going on here. Um, and then broken down by the different modules that we have. So I'm going to dig into this first to go to uh, the samples from MSDN. So before they redid the documentation structure of most of the Microsoft products, we had a lot up on the MSDN archives. And they removed that, they retired that, and just moved it underneath the um, docs.microsoft.com. But these are all of the um, examples going back, I couldn't tell you how many years, to probably the beginning of probably 2011, I bet, um, that was up on the code gallery. And they said, you know, okay, this has been retired, but here they are. Now, these may not all work exactly the same, but I think most of them will work exactly the same. And there's some pretty cool things in here. So, you know, if you get bored and you need to want to take a look, then, you know, uh, go ahead and do that. Going back to the root folder here, you'll see a uh, note at the top that says this is a sample code from the Dynamics 365 apps which is found here. So these are all of the application snippets um, from, the, um, from the main docs page. So if we look at sales, we have different things we can do with sales. So here is a Calculate Price plugin. So this is a full Visual Studio solution. And this will be of course written in C Sharp. Um, uh, .NET. Most of these are .NET things. So just some things to watch out for. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, sorry, let me back to the root there. If you scroll down to the bottom, one more, you'll also see some other repros that you can look at. So another one that is extremely related to us is the Power Apps and Common Data Service samples. So I go to that repo I see some of the same thing. So what we're after is either portals, if you're into the portals, or the PCF component framework, or CDS. And again, it kind of give you, gives you a little bit of uh, information about what's in that. So if we look at the CDS samples, what we see in this is many of the things that you saw in the other parts, and uh, going back to the possibly the MSDN thing. So we have two of these folders here that say C sharp and there's a word in front it's kind of hard to read. One says org service and one says web API. So this is just a different way of accessing. So the organization service is how we've accessed things forever. So like if you wanted to see how to associate records, that would be that. Okay. And um, if you wanted to go back and look at the web API version. So let's see basic operations. So this would be basic CRUD operations. And again, as you notice, these are full solutions. So this is what they actually, so on the docs site, you may only see a code segment. This is the whole thing. Okay. So let's look at sample program. And then basically this just walks you through and they're, what they're doing here is using the web API instead of the organizational service to do the work. Okay. So just a little bit about that. Okay. So one thing, and I'm going to go back to the other samples just to make sure, uh, I want to give you kind of a heads up about how things are organized. So the documentation team, uh, runs everything through, um, uh, unit tests. And one of the ways that they do the unit test is they will literally build up the data. That's the wrong one, sorry. They will build up the data and then they will destroy the data as part. So what you see here is I'm creating accounts and then I am deleting those accounts. And this is the way that they tested things out so that they didn't have data left over after the test. Okay, so if you wonder why it's structured like that, where you see them creating data, doing a thing, and then deleting the data, that's why they're doing it. 
So anyway, just a lot of good samples here. Um, I haven't even played with some of these, but anytime that you see stuff like, so this is the, uh, the default layout for a Dynamics Organization. Here's some helpful option sets. And there are just tons and tons of stuff in here. Anyway, so this is some stuff that was taken out uh, using the, uh, or, uh, the uh, service utility to actually generate stuff. But anyway, sorry I'm kind of babbling here, but there's lots and lots of stuff here. So um, some of these are indexed where they're easy to find, but at, at, the, at the very least, there's lots of examples. So if you want to know how to do stuff, just kind of go and browse around here and you can see how to get into stuff like here's the, um, the XRM tooling API and how you would use that to, 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 to connect with stuff. So um, lots of good stuff in here. And again, some of this stuff goes back years and years. So there are literally hundreds of examples in here. And um, there you go. So if you're looking for how to do stuff, this is where you would find it. And again, it's basically most of it is a pointer from the uh, docs.microsoft.com site. But these are full solutions. So if you want to be able to download code and just run it, this is how you would do it. Good luck.